possibly some bad news. We um, have been out of town in Branson, Missouri for the weekend with some family and got phone calls and text messages and alerts about 2 a.m. this morning saying a tornado had come through um, Rogers in Bentonville, Arkansas. And it was right, our home was right in the path of that. We are headed home now to assess the damage. We have some neighbors that have been sending us photos. We have a lot of trees down. Um, greenhouse is crushed. Trampoline is down the valley. Um, we've got a trailer and a golf cart that um, have trees on top of them. Um, that's the best we can tell from photos. Um, can't get down our road very far. Um, we have trees down on power lines, so we're not even sure how close to our house we can get. We may have to park and walk in um, to be able to assess damage, but we're gonna take you guys along with us. Both sides. Okay, we are about 45 minutes from home and we are already seeing the devastation of the tornado has come through this, this whole area. And we are 45 minutes from home and it's already bad. Um, my son is stopped. He was on his way to our property and he is about 10 minutes from our property and he's been sitting there for 30 minutes so i'm gonna say he is not able to get to our house so oh the devastation there's a tree derooted right there but it didn't re deroot from where it's sitting at oh man this is it's gonna be a mess when we get home and we are in cassville missouri right now and this is 42 miles from home and the devastation is horrible. Well, the governor of Missouri is going to file a disaster relief too. Debris all over from tornado winds all over the side of the road. Oh my gosh. They got rocked. I know. Some kind the of metal roof's building. pulled off. Well, maybe that was part of the roof that come off. Oh, yeah. The whole section of the building's off. tree out in the road. Oh, derooted from the ground. Their trampoline is gone. Big trees over here. Down there. Okay, we are about 10 minutes from our house. We're not sure how long it's going to take to get there. We are going to video the whole devastation on the way to our house. It's all back roads. We've got trees. We've got limbs. We've got a lot of debris down just already. So we're going to take you along with us. One of our sons has already made it to our house. It took him about two hours to get there and he is assessing the damage. We do know our house is flooded. Um, we know that there's uh, a lot of trees down. We know it's crushed our greenhouse. Our trampoline is down in the valley. Um, and we'll see what other damage when we get there.
must have flooded the road. He did flood the road. There's a lot of debris up here. Cleaning it right here, babe. Oh, wow. They're trying to get out of their house off the road. Cars are having to wait. One down to one lane because of the. That's why Trey was having such a long time. Trees out of the road yet. Well, he said there was times he had to go off into the ditch to go around trees, and here they've cut trees out. He said they had cut trees out of the road, made a path just so people could drive through it. Somebody's trampoline over the, the black and cedar house. Trampoline is over here in these people's fence. That's a brand new trampoline, too. What they're doing. They're out cleaning up. We're trying to get home to assess our damage. This is where Trey was at. This yeah. is why Trey had so, so, um, took him so long to get out here. Because he had to get through that. I wonder if, uh, Chuck, and, Chuck and Caroline. Power yep, lines. power lines. They got trees down. Um, Chuck and Caroline look like they're okay. It looks like the house is looks good. Looks like they're good. push all this out of the they road. They had to push it all out of the road. Nobody could even get through. Look at that. Oh my gosh. All that was flooded. flooded in and over the road. The new whistles did not work. This is still out of everybody's yard. Yeah. Look at the water flowing through there. tornado touching down. We'll probably be able to see where it touched down. Oh, with all those trees down over there. Oh, gosh. Here's, make sure there's nothing coming the other way. Yeah. So you haven't even been able to get to that yet. Let's see if those people's house survived it. Is 
just just pulled in. I bet they flooded out. There's Jimbo. Roll down. No, that's Thomas. Never mind. in their yard all the time. All that brush right brushed up next to them vehicles that he's working on. Be careful going that way. The trees are on that on the, side. We're like having to drive curving under power lines. Whoa. They need to get that lifted up. Jimbo. Train Caitlin on it. We'll see you guys. Okay. Power lines down right there, hanging over the road. Got to drive around that. Got to drive oh, over them. You got to drive over them. Well, we got it bad out here. This is this must be out here where the tornado touched down at. As you heard earlier, we have. Um, been hit by a tornado. That brand new pole and, broke in half. That tells you a twister took it out. And power lines are down on the ground. We're having to drive over them. We're having to drive under them, draped over. This here is a brand new pole they just put up about two or three weeks ago. It's down on the ground. Uh, we've got trees down everywhere. More the whole, uh, They won't get our power back on for a month. These power lines are all have to be rebuilt. That Our neighbors, pole. these power lines are right here. <laughs> that pole oh, snapped. it's cracked. That could fall at any time. Cracked power line. Oh man, well, you got to drive over. How do you? How do we get through right there? That's a power line. That's a power pole across the road. I'm gonna walk. No, 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 no. Don't get out because I don't want you actually. Through. I'm going to get out just for a minute. Going around it. How do y'all get over that? 
Can you go with the truck around it? So we've got power lines, as you can see, down all over the ground. We've got power lines, power pole and lines in the middle of the road. That's our road to get to our house. And we're trying to figure out if we can go around this pole where it snapped off. See where it snapped off there? We're gonna go around that way with the truck. Just cut a little path. So this is our our road. Another power line. Another down. power pole right there. I don't think a car can get through here. It's hard okay, I should back up. because once you get past these trees right here, back on our, he's still there. Oh, it's, it's moved it some. Hang on. I need to get pictures of this for him. There's, there's nobody behind us, right? Don't get up here where you can get up. about 0.9 miles to our house. Our son and daughter-in-law in front of us. They've done, they made it to our house and assessed some damages. Took them a couple hours to get there. As you can see from all the, from all the debris and trees down and everything. Power lines, man, the power lines, that's horrible. You got to drive under them. You got to drive over them. You got to drive around them. It's very dangerous. It already tells They're, me how long that electricity is going to be down. We got to get generators fired they, up. We have about 119,000 uh, Carroll Electric customers without power right now. And they said it could be weeks, um, possibly a month before we have power. So we are not sure um, what we are going to do. We do have a generator. Uh, we have to figure out how to power our freezers so we don't lose our meat. Um, and just, we'll figure it out. We always do. We are resourceful living. Tornado touched down at her place. Oh, yeah. So it's okay. We've got trees down back behind their house. You can see the root bulbs of yeah, them. Yeah, you can. She's kicked back on the porch. Is she? Yeah. She's like, nothing I can do. I don't have no chainsaw. get into it digging up. I'm not doing anything until insurance gives me fun. Oh, he's just happy to help. I know he is. The, it, it took out their little shed. Their shed's gone. I don't see it. It, it landed on, those landed on their camper. I can't see them. Sure did. It landed, those trees landed on their camper. Um, I can't tell with the camper in the way, but that little shed that was out here. That's his whale. Well. That's his whale. Well. It's gone. The shed's gone. So the wind must have took it no, off. No, he's on city, Amy. That was a storage shed. Yeah, it was a storage shed. Oh, I miss these trees being down right there in the road. 
Look at Gary's place. Oh gosh. Yeah, that big tree split. That was the path. That was the path that went in. Right here. Right, here. right in that path. And we're Raymond's almost... right in that joker again. Look right. Look at those trees right there. Holy cow, you can see the, you can see the cove down Snapped there now. Them. It Snapped them. Snapped them and derooted that one right there. Holy cow, look at this. Oh my gosh. Man, they're gonna have a mess to clean up to get to all their stuff. Man, how did he miss? How did it miss? Well, Raylan's got trees down too. Yep. Oh gosh. His it his just home, like this. I tell you what, God has had his hand on that house. Two it, it got the, it got their um their canopy. It did. But it missed their house uh -huh. again. Raymond never sat outside. And how did it miss them? Okay, we are pulling into our driveway. We are gonna get parked and then we're gonna go around to the other side of the house and assess everything over there. Trash can blue. How did that five gallon bucket stay sitting there? I gotta get Blew all your grills over. So right over there where that blue tarp is, is where the trampoline was. And this kayak was under the trampoline. And the trampoline is now back there. So the tornado probably picked up the trampoline and threw it over this garage and dumped it over there. That big tree down there, we didn't see that. Nope. So I'm gonna walk back here. The garden, the garden is taking a beating, but the garden is gonna be fine. The greenhouse is demolished. So the greenhouse is toast. The panels are blown out everywhere. We've got parts of the trampoline back here. So here's the trampoline back here. So it had to have lifted this trampoline over this garage and threw it over. We got trees down right there. It's a big tree down right there. The neighbors didn't send a picture of that one. Didn't know about that, but here's these over here that are down. And we got these trees over here at the well shed. It missed the well shed, but swiped the trees down. Get through some of this debris. Swipe those down. Swiped them right next to the well shed. There's a, there's one, two, three, four, four, four trees down right there on top of our tractor trailer and our golf cart. And then we've got trees that were the beginning of being derooted right there. It caught the tip of the storm. It didn't quite level them all the way down. That's part of our hoop house, our other greenhouse that we're gonna put up. And then it took down the dogwood. And I hate that. 
because I love that dogwood. Then moving up here, we've got three trees down up here that are de-rooted that I can see right now. Maybe one, two, three. So this, well, that one's a double tree. Two, three, four right there. And it's blocking this drive. So this will have to be cleaned up before we could even get the tractor trailer out. That looks like that's all down here on the bottom part of our property as far as trees go. We've got whole upper level of our property. So from my counting on the top part of our property, I see another tree down back there in the back. Back there behind, behind my feeder. I'm counting, well, it looks like there's two of them down back there. One took out another one. Looks like about 16 trees down on the lower part of our property. And it'll be a little while before we can get up top to assess any damage or trees up there um, but any trees down up there it's fine it's there's no we don't live up there so we're not too worried about that but there's a i'm getting closer to that one back there the reap bulb and how it took took two down at the same time my deer feeder got lifted up and slung up against that tree. I guess it's a good thing it was got that tree. It probably saved it. But there's the two back there. We've got a, another tree down right here across this trail going up to the top of our property. So, uh, my deer stand took a beating. I wouldn't climb up that deer stand. That ladder is shifted and nope. So we've got another tree down right here across this trail. This trail goes down and then back up to the top part of our property up there. Yeah, it's definitely, that's not the way it was. Yeah, it blew my seat out. Yeah, it's, it's shimmied. So that's, that's, I'm not going to be using that sand this year. Anyway, so that assesses um, 19 or 20 trees. Actually, there's one right there. So that for sure makes 20, 20 trees on our property, um, on the front part of our property that we uh, actually live on. Um, yeah. So we were supposed to be leaving in the morning to go to our Oklahoma property to do some cleanup there. And oh, I even derooted those. Yeah. It started derooting those. Uh, I was supposed to leave in the morning to go to Oklahoma to our um, Oklahoma property to do some cleanup and to do our catfishing for the year. And now we come back from a little mini weekend getaway with our family in Branson. And this is what we have to deal with. So I think we're uh, going to have to postpone our our Oklahoma property trip and get this property cleaned up. So stay tuned and we will let you know any other damage that we find.
somebody come in to clear. That is just crazy. I wonder if that air. Like it, isn't that the right? I don't know what you got. 
Greasy. Hey, Greasy. No, you're fine. You're fine. Electric is out replacing broken poles and beginning stages of getting the power lines restrung. Yeah. So we're just gonna. We were sitting on our front porch. We've assessed all of our property and discovered all the 63 trees we have down. Um, we lost a greenhouse, trampoline, a storage building, an implement to our tractor, a golf cart, and a hoop house. And that appears to be the bulk of our damage. We have no damage on our house other than some leak leaks through the roof that we don't think is gonna be major. We've gotta get the insurance company out to take a look at it. Um, we've got the bulk of our stuff is gonna be tree cleanup. Um, and it's gonna take us some, quite some time to get that cleaned up. Um, but that finalizes our, um, video of our tornado damage. We, um, if we go to town, we have to go a long way. It takes us about an hour to get to town. 
um, versus about 20 minutes um, because they have the roads blocked off from power poles down and power lines down in the roads and stuff. So they've, they've, they've stopped all traffic coming through. Um, we're very thankful and grateful that we had no damage, major damage to our home. Um, on our road, there is very little damage to homes. A uh, tree over on a camper, trees down on a couple of decks, um, the corner of a house got hit, and there is a tree down on another house that is an Airbnb house, oh, um, a cabin getaway for the people who own it. They're not there all the time, so not sure when they'll be here to assess their damage, but um, we are gr very grateful. We feel like God has really watched over us during this tornado this is the second tornado we've had come through our property since we've owned it um we lost 39 trees during the first tornado but no structural damage um like i said we're very grateful we're very thankful that god was watching over us and our neighbors um this concludes our video of our tornado we were not able to get any pictures in town because of all the roads that are blocked off when we went to town. Um, so, but it's devastation in town. In fact, our governor has declared a state of disaster for Benton County, Arkansas. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, we'd like for you to subscribe. And click that notification bell so you know when we post videos and give us a thumbs up any comments or anything like that you want to give us we'd love to see those see you next time